Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here in Jerusalem. I wanted to uh, demonstrate a, a feature in OBS Studio that I just kind of got to grips with today. Pretty cool, uh, it's just simply cropping. So if you want to crop yourself um, in a webcam feed, I'm just gonna show, show you exactly why you might want to do that and then how to do it and how it's going to look in video. So I'm recording this in Simple Screen Recorder. So um, I do have a clip that I'll just pull up quickly of the before and after effect, uh, but firstly, how to do it. So what I did here was just to demonstrate um, how this might work, I just went ahead and I'm just gonna show you the screen and I just pulled a cloud pick, cloudy sky, I just searched Google images for cloudy sky. Um, and then what I did is uh, went ahead and opened that up in GIMP and I'm recording this in uh, 1080p HD. So 1920 by 1080 pixels. Um, and what I wanted to do here was, uh, so basically I just scaled this guy to 1920 on the vertical, uh, took 1080 pixels from the top and then just cropped that in some place that made it look okay. Saved that as a file called clouds.png. And uh, what you're looking at now is basically clouds is one layer and it's filling up, it's filling up um, 1920. So the reason I did this just while I'm demonstrating how this cropping tool works is um, it's just easier for me to see where the canvas lies. And you can see if I move myself around and out of it, you get this, you know, the transparent vector um, chevron look, but I find it easier in default if I didn't have this cloud layer, if I'm just gonna hide the cloud layer, I'd be looking at black. And for whatever reason, when I'm looking at a video afterwards, I just find it easier to have something in the background to see how this worked. Now, uh, okay, onto the, onto the actual uh, talk about what this does. So, um, as you're looking at my OBS now, I have um, visible um, three different uh, sources. I have, I'm always trying to show this guy. I have my lavalier microphone, that's the uh, audio input device here. Um, top one on the mixer, I have my webcam. That is 930C and I've gone ahead and um, I have just made sure that that was uh, set top in the order sequence here so that I'm always on top and I made sure that the clouds were moved to bottom. And then, so if I wanna add different layers, like I wanna turn the screen on, I know I'm still gonna be above the screen. It's all basic stuff unrelated to cropping. Uh, but here's why you might want to crop. So imagine I'm doing a talking head video, I'm narrating some technical screencast and the webcam I have, the Logitech 930E has a really nice lens, but it's a very wide angle lens. So let me go, if we go into the uh, filters, right click on filters, um, you can see I have a crop filter currently active. Now watch, watch what happens if I take off the crop filter. So suddenly you're getting a much better feel uh, for where I am and where I'm recording this from. And it's a really, I really love this lens actually. It's a really nice wide angle lens, but it does kind of like show you a lot of stuff that I mightn't really want people to see in the context of a video like this. So you can see some space here. You can see my couch. Um, depending on how I arrange my room, you could see, um, I've got a shirt here. I've got some Kindles. Now, of course, the best solution is to clean up, but uh, if you're looking to move yourself as a talking head around this screen, um, there, it, this, this shot is just too wide essentially. So like, you know, there are things you could do. If I just don't, if I just resize this to scale, some people might like this effect of me, um, you know, a wide angle view of the uh, person giving, let's say a tutorial and the background there. But for a lot of people, they'd find there's just too much distraction and they don't want that wide angle. They want a tight shot. Now, I'm not saying it's for everybody. There is, uh, there's times where this, I think this might look really good if I had better lighting and a better studio. Um, but as I don't, I'm at the point now where I'm trying to like hide things away. Um, now, one quick sort of hack you can do is just to kind of move, let's say I wanted to have this mic stand and this door not visible. So what I could do is just I'm using the arrow keys, you can just use the mouse and just like drag that 
off the canvas but it doesn't look great because now it's unequal now you've just got this kind of like the couch is like sticking out there so if you're trying to play this game you're probably better off just cropping so here is how the croppage occurs so uh, go for your uh, webcam device minus 930c I'm gonna just pause for a second to have uh, take a chunk of a breath mint um, so my capture device is 930e going to click into filters now we're back to where I started and we can add our filters so what I would do is you want to be adding in effect filters not in AV filters because uh, it's not the same filters and uh, AV filters are great for adding noise suppression but what we want to do here is a crop so add filters then click on to crop 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 okay now uh, you start at zero, 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 zero. And what this is doing, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but um, um, I like to make sure I, I understand stuff when I'm making these videos also for my own later reference. Um, it's just pixels and you can just get rid of pixels from the four sides of the frame. So I'm gonna kick things off by taking out 100, 200 and just play around with it. So you can just do it pixel by pixel, but it's gonna be very, very tedious. If you speed it up, it's a little bit quicker. If you use the mouse wheel, it will be actually significantly quicker. So what I kind of do here is I just started with like 300, a bit more. I'm gonna go for a super tight crop here on myself. 400, ugh. I even let's see 450. And what I'm gonna do, the objective of this, if I wanted to do it, I'm gonna try get rid of the mic stand. You can see the mic stand here where my cursor is, so that's my objective here. And there's also a door that's visible, so. And now I'm just using the mouse wheel, there we go. And I'm gonna try just, just get to the point where they're out of frame and no more. Um, now, uh, if I wanna get this to a square box, I of course need to uh, take the same amount of pixels from the right as from the left. So. If I strip 592 pixels out of the right, it's a little bit too much. So I'm gonna end up with a kind of oblong um, frame here uh, at the bottom. So, okay, I've taken 350. Actually, I retract that. I retract that, I think I'm getting confused myself. Um, I'm gonna end up with, here we go. I can't think in geometry at the moment. Suffice to say, I'm just taking enough here that I'm gonna just like get myself really, really tight. You know, I can keep going um, here. I can go from the bottom. It's gonna start looking freakish. I'm gonna give myself a bit of uh, a bit of space to, to be and go for like my shoulders. And then for the top, I'm gonna go for, let's see, what well, we're at 150, let's try 250. 300, super, super tight, but that was kind of the purpose, so whatever, I'll, I'll leave it. So now we can see we've totally changed the game. Um, I don't need to do any tricks, and when I resize the webcam, I'm keeping the crop. So if I dump myself in the bottom corner here, and I've just moved in my chair a little bit, so I can still, I can do what I did before without the cropping, I can just move myself over a little bit, and uh, down a bit here and that's it so if I'm just gonna do actually I can't record because it'll interrupt this recording uh, but I did a video earlier which I can bring in to show you or I cannot actually do that so this is one uh, here and um, useful if you're looking to uh, get a tight shot on a talking head video tutorial, just uh, play around with the settings, go on to grab your source, filters, add a crop filter, and then just start chopping from the left and the right. I do, re I do recommend if you're just trying to test it out, I, I like personally having this um, stock image background so I can do a test recording and see how does that look exactly. I find it a little bit harder to see when there's just a black background, <coughs> that could be just me. Um, and you know, I think I do think it'll make a good difference uh, to my videos. Hopefully, if you're exactly where you want to be in frame and you don't have anything sort of extraneous, and then if you're shooting in a different environment, you can just go for a 
wide angle shot and just mix it up but the fact that you can do this at a software level i think is pretty powerful so thank you guys for watching if you'd like to get more videos on obs and linux and whatever else i'm putting up videos on this channel about then feel free to hit the subscribe button thank you much for watching